Oh, and welcome. Well, if you know a brand called Parkside that is sold through the budget supermarket called Lidl's, you'll, you might have seen these. But before I get into it, don't forget to click like and subscribe. So, are they worth the £6 they cost for the set? Cheap as chips, eh? Wouldn't you say? I would say, yes, it is cheap as chips. But is it cheap as chips when it doesn't bloom and work? Yeah. These two saws don't really do what they're meant to do. Now, I have got Japanese-style saws. Um, this is like a... Is it like a Kataba? A very small Kataba, very fine Kataba, because there's no back on it, is there? And it's not double. Yeah, it's a single-edge cut. Anyway, um, they come with a handle, which you can literally just swap the blades over by pressing the little button in and slide it in like... Sort of like so. I made a hash there, but anyway, like that. Right, and you get a... Uh, 22 TPI and you get a, actually that's a 22, the 22 TPI and a 17 TPI. And oh, I've had a little bit of issues with it and the reason why I've had some issues with these is I feel that the actual saw kerf isn't uh, thick enough. It doesn't create a wide enough saw kerf to allow the bulk of the blade to pass through without any resistance. It just grips the side of the blade all the time. And I've tried a few things. This particular one, I've removed all the lacquer off the side of it with... Um, with a piece of 240 grit paper just to remove the lacquer. You can see the lacquer coming off as you're, as, as you're doing it. And it still didn't work. So I'm going to show you that. So I've got how I've got the blade, and I've got a bit... Oh, you know. Right. Flop me like my missus. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> right, um... Not gone, gone. She's just not in there. Right, so I've got a bit of pine in. Let's bring you in a bit closer. Do, 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 do. Like so. Like that. And as you can see, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it with this saw. Like that. So let's cut across the grain. I'm going to make a couple of passes first just to get a start, like so. And then I'm going to try and push it back through to make the next pass. And as you can see, I can't. It's gripping the sides of the blade, preventing me being able to push it back through to make another cut. That is the fundamental problem because what's happened is, is that blade is not creating a wide enough saw kerf to allow the, the blade to pass through the saw kerf without it gripping the sides of the blade. So, I'm a, uh, 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 no, um, demonstrate that a bit better. So, you see there, it's gripping the blade. You shouldn't do that, it should fall out. Not a lot of good like that. But I did find the rip cut with it was actually not too bad at all. So, well, not great, but I could actually cut on the rip since I took the varnish off. So on the rip, it's, it's okay. It's not too bad. But I'm not trying to keep any kind of action. I'm just going to show you the effectiveness, of, the effectiveness of the actual blade itself. So on the cross cut, which is normally the easiest cut, it's not actually performing very well at all. And I'll show you with the 22 as well. It's the same story with the 22. And the same story even when I'm trying to cut this piece of oak. So, it just doesn't want to allow you to actually release the blade enough to be able to pass it back so you can make another stroke, another cut. It doesn't want to let you. <sighs> oh, shit. It's shit. Yeah, that's shit. Um... I've tried moving the lacquer and it didn't work on this one. I dare say it wouldn't work on that one either. My feeling is the set on the blade isn't actually wide enough to allow the blade to pass through. That's my feeling anyway. Um, what Could you use these for anything at all? Yeah, you could. Let's say, for instance, you, I don't know, you, you, you doweled a joint and you've got these dowels sticking out and you want to cut them off. You know, these would be perfect for that. Because you're not actually having to... Um, the dowels are going to be a size where it's not really going to cause you any issues. You shouldn't get much resistance. Will they become better? Will they improve in time? Maybe they will. If I persevere with them, maybe maybe they'll sort themselves out. And in that case, I'll make another little video. Yeah. Saying that I was wrong. They're not shit. They just take, you've got to sort of like wear them in. You know. So anyway, that's my take on this six quid set of blades. Blade or saw blades and handle. <sniffs> At the moment, it ain't great. Not really usable. So I can't recommend them at the moment because 
I don't think it's, you know, they're really usable. It's a, it's a shame, really, because these are like six quid. But if it doesn't work, it's no good, is it? It's six quid wasted. So, anyway, thank you for watching my little video. And if you're most kind, don't forget to click like and subscribe. And maybe the little bell icon, because then you get a warm fuzzy video in your pocket every time I upload another video. Thank you for watching.